here I am. Just uh, a really kind of dreary day in January. Yesterday we had 55, today it's 35. We've had snow flurries on and off this morning and this, this afternoon as well. And um, just I thought it was a good day to get out when the snow isn't covering everything to show you what's going on around the little tiny homestead. And so I want to start by showing you right outside my front door, I have this lovely item called a snowdrop. It is a flower that blooms in January or in February whenever it, there's snow on the ground. And so it is a really cute little flower. And here it is. It is quite a lovely little flower. My mom gave those to me. I'm very thankful that my mom introduced me to lots of cool things in the way of flowers and many other things as well. I do have a larger patch of these that's in the back. So we have life. We have life here, even though it's kind of uh, dreary and cold and, and all of that. A couple other things that are popping up here, which surprised me. Is something some seeds I got from Baker Creek and they are um, a green that you can eat in salads um, I really don't like it but it is persistent because it's coming up so here it is I'm kind of a sorrel or a dock and it's actually called I really don't like the name bloody dock but look at that you can see amongst the dead brown stuff is this new green coming up Here's a place that didn't even come up this summer. And there it is, coming up. So I don't know if this is going to last or if it's just kind of a fluke, don't know. But maybe we will actually try eating it. Run over here to the greenhouse where we planted the spinach a few weeks ago. And do believe it's coming up. It's a little tiny spinach so far. And hopefully we'll get some this winter and we'll be able to munch on that because to have fresh spinach from your garden in the winter would be quite a treat. There's a spinach tent. Okay, so let's take a look at there. Yeah, let's see. Yes, indeed, we have baby spinach. You see these little things that look like grass almost? Yeah, that's little baby spinach. Definitely, they grow very slow in the winter time, but I'm hoping, hoping, hoping we get some winter spinach. So we're gonna see what happens with that. And nothing else much going on in the greenhouse. Last time I, my asparagus I planted in the greenhouse did survive. We're hoping for the best that these asparagus that I'm planting for my children will survive. Oh, there's Domino again. He's getting around okay today. He's got um, issues with his back legs. He's 14 years old, so that's to be expected. But we're enjoying him while we have him. Come on, come on, Domino. Come on. Come on, bud. Oh, oh, yep, be careful. There you go. Come on. Good job, bud. All right, let's take a look around here. Let's go down to our garlic patch, which as you know, we planted garlic a while back as well. So, off we go. Let's see what happened. Did our garlic come up? Oh boy, look here. Yes, indeed. Look at our garlic. Hello, garlic. Hello, we've got garlic everywhere. Those kind of greenish yellow little leaves coming up. That's all of our garlic. Oh, this is very exciting. So it appears that probably next July, we are going to harvest a lot of garlic. Yay. And there's the pond, not frozen at the moment. It is, um, was, we had a lot of cold days there for a little while, 
but of course now it's it's not frozen. Hello, Bob. We call him Bob the Rooster. There he is. Hello, Bobby. He got a little bit of um, frostbite on his crop, which he gets about every year. It ends up healing up. I don't worry too much about it. A lot of people, uh, especially if they have a show rooster or maybe they just don't like the fact that the crops get kind of weird looking, they put Vaseline on them and that protects them from the frost. But honestly, um, honestly it's not something I find is necessary. It doesn't affect their health in any way. So we just go ahead and leave that. Okay. Here's a quick tour here. I'm just gonna show you the tiny house, which you may have seen in some previous videos. We haven't talked about it. This is a tiny house that we built. I will have my husband very soon, hopefully, do a um, do a video on that so you can see around that house. He also just purchased a diesel heater, which we will have in there so that it can stay warm and it can actually be used. We also will be able to keep water in there, in our tank, which of course we had to drain because it's not heated at the moment. So we have a parsnip that didn't get pulled up and decided to start to sprout. How fun is that? Of course, there appears to be daffodils that are also beginning to emerge. Keep in mind, this is mid-January. And uh, that's surprising to me. This is my purple sprouting broccoli. I don't understand. I really need to do some research on the purple sprouting broccoli. I, it's supposed to overwinter. I just want to show you one more thing. Coming down this hill, see if we can find, if we have any of our snowdrops, the large patch of snowdrops. See if they're coming up yet. They'll be right over here. And they are beginning to come up, but they're not blooming like the ones are up at the front of the house. So that's very interesting. But they may be a later variety. very soon it's all going to look beautiful again so just a short video today just to give you an idea of what it looks like here in northeastern Ohio in mid-January and strangely enough we haven't had as much cold weather as we would normally have considering where we live we just hope you stay rooted until next time